This Easter was so exciting, my dad literally got up out of his chair. I thought he wasn't allowed out of his chair while he's in rehab because he's a fall risk. Oh, he's not. The alarm on the chair went off, and the nurses came running in to see if he fell. Oh, what happened? Well, nothing really. Now he just has to wear a seatbelt when he's in the chair so he can't accidentally get up. Okay, this wasn't actually a joke. That's really what happened to my father-in-law on Easter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well... With such a focus on Easter this month, we didn't actually plan that many events. Of course, that doesn't count the dozens of small groups, men's groups, women's groups, and support groups that meet weekly. You can find information for all those groups on the website. Now, we do have a few things for you, though. On Friday, April 28th, we're having our Love Your Marriage dinner and date night. This is sold out multiple months in a row now, so I would recommend signing up soon. Otherwise, you might end up with gas station pizza from QT for your dinner and date night. Yeah, even if you're like most of us, we want to share your faith and show others the joy you have, but really struggle with how to do it in a society that feels more and more hostile towards it. If that's you, then Mark has an excellent class starting up on Saturday, April 29th called Winsome Christianity. We'll have more events coming in May, in May but... What's coming up in May? Okay, <laughs> funny joke. Kids out of school? Mm. It's not really a holiday. I'm going to let you think real hard for a minute about a very important event that happens in May mm. that would be very, very bad to forget. Right. It's National Barbecue Month. <laughs> Guys love that. No, actually... Luke might already be in trouble. But for every other guy, May we're celebrating Mother's Day. This includes bio moms, adoptive moms, spiritual moms, guardians, or anyone else who was a strong influence in your life. I, I didn't mention Mother's Day because I, I thought it was obvious. Yeah. Well, we want to take a moment to tell you about all the other activities going on this summer for your children. You might ask, how come all these events are for my kids? But instead, I would ask... What should we do while our kids are at all of these events? <laughs> yeah. For the younger kids, we have tot time. That happens on Wednesday mornings for kids ages 0 to 3. That's tot time for the kids and totes time for you to take a nap. That's what the kids say these days. For the Anomaly kids, registrations are open for both junior high and high school summer camps. These have been incredibly popular the last few years, and Jace and the Anomaly team really build an environment for them to make connections and build their relationship with God. They'll also be going on another missions trip this year. Last year's trial ran went incredibly well. And finally, we have registration open for our summer VBS. If you've ever had kids go to VBS, you know how exciting and impactful this is for them. So if you'd like to help out, we have all kinds of opportunities, even if it's just helping to make the snacks. <laughs> That's right. Uh, there's a lot to be excited about here at DBCC. But there are also so many hurting and alone out there. Sunday is a time where we gather for worship, but so much life change actually happens in small groups. No matter who you are, there is a group out there for you. That's right. See you guys next week. That's right. Bye. Bye.